10-15 difference. No soil and no pesticides. It's NASA technology creating a new way to farm. You can get even a more intense flavor than you can in the soil. This is 7 News. It began as an experiment some three years back has now become the Grow Anywhere aeroponic farm in Frederick. They don't use dirt, there's no pesticides, no specific growing season. 7 News reporter Doug Shepman tells us they are growing produce literally in thin air. When you think of farming, this may be the image that comes to mind. This is the uh, cilantro. But at this farm, area. lights replace sunshine and air replaces soil. You can get even a more intense flavor than you can in the soil. This growing method is called aeroponics. Where nutrient-enriched water is sprayed directly on the roots for five seconds every 20 minutes. We use far less water than a conventional farming method would use. And one of the primary benefits is freshness. The same day these plants are harvested, they're delivered to your favorite local restaurants. I don't think you get it much fresher than that. Chef Jen owns Rioja in Larimer Square. She has been buying microgreens from the Grow Anywhere farm for more than a year. You look how beautiful those are. She attributes their pristine quality to the fact that they are grown naturally without dirt or pesticides eliminating the need to clean them. When things are that little, it is so difficult to clean them. They have to be misted in such a light way. And, and so they come to us in perfect order. And with the success of prototype farms like this one and advances in equipment design, they foresee aeroponic farms becoming more popular and easier to maintain. I envision some restaurants in the future with uh, a little microgreen a farm attached to the restaurant. How about that for freshness? Doug Shepman. 7 News. That's uh, fresh, all right. Right now, the Grow Anywhere farm is concentrating on microgreens, which are used in garnishes and in salad mixes. But they say that others have grown full-size corn, tomatoes, and potatoes using aeroponics.